can I ask you something? Why would you purposely serve Satan? Yes, he may be able to give you this. He may be able to give you that. But ultimately, when you die, and let's say you are knowingly serving Satan, and let's say you are knowingly going against God, the true God. Is it possible for Satan to defeat God? It is already written that Satan is going to lose. If you gamble, and I believe gambling is wrong, but if you gamble, if you know a side is going to lose, why would you bet money on the losing side? Yes, I know Satan is going to lose, but let me bet $1 million that he is going to win. Why would you do that? Why would you bet on a losing team? Why would you intentionally lose money you don't want to lose? It makes no sense, right? Why serve Satan? Listen now, does Satan have anything to lose? Isn't he already condemned? Aren't demons already condemned? So do they have anything to lose? I think not. So I believe there is nothing demons and Satan can do to change their fate. I believe their fate is the lake of fire. So as a human, I believe and if you are alive now, you don't have to go to hell. You don't have to go to the lake of fire. It is already written that Satan, and I believe his demons as well, are going to lose. Why serve him? Did Satan promise you anything? Even if your master gave you everything you wanted on this earth, what is it to you? Look now, if you die, can you take any of it to the next realm, as in hell or heaven? Even if Satan gave you a very nice house, nice cars, jewelry, or whatever, can you take it with you in hell? How long are you going to live on this earth? Even if you live until you are 300, let's say you gained or could gain so much in those 300 years. What is it to you when you die? Why serve Satan? He is condemned. He lost. So if he is deceiving you or trying to deceive you, what does he have to lose? I think he have I think he doesn't have anything to lose. But I believe you do. I think you have so much to lose. Lose. I believe you have an opportunity to go to heaven. I believe so. 
So if this is the case, give your life to Jesus Christ now. Even if you have to live poor, even if times are tough for you, if you stop serving Satan, isn't it better that way than to be rich and serving Satan than go to hell afterward? Come on now. Satan is already condemned. Yes, he may have power. He may can give you things, but what can you get if you go to hell? Like, <laughs> what can he give you that is worth going to hell over? Kevin, hell is so... I mean, Kevin, I think heaven is going to be so boring. All we are going to do is read the Bible and sing hymns. Who told you that? Where in the Bible does it say that that is the only thing we are going to do in heaven? If you love the earth so much, how much more will you love heaven? Didn't God create the earth? If so, how much better is heaven? But are you willing to go to hell for some trinkets on this earth from Satan? Let's, let's be serious now. Let me stop here.